Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and today I got a special guest again on my channel, Jack Revyak. You've seen him before. We did a little part nine on retaining walls. And the special thing about Jack was he learned masonry when he worked as a mason's helper before he went to college. But he also played with the Buffalo Bills back in the 1980s. And he's a mason, and since he retired, he does these kind of jobs. And we're just going to let the camera roll and show you how he did it. Hi, I'm Jack Braviak. Uh, a lot of people might not know me, but you, you may. I did a video with Mike Haddock back in April. We fixed a retaining wall. So this is my second video, but I've been doing masonry for some time now. And what we have here is a skeleton setup of an outdoor grill and a refrigeration. And right over here, we're going to have a real nice countertop, limestone counter coming over here. And you'll be able to sit here and entertain your guests and to be able to put the legs behind there without it uh, banging into each other. We have a lot of room here. And what I did was, as I said, it's a skeleton uh, uh, layout with the blocks. Uh, I did put the uh, mud in it already today and yesterday. But beforehand, uh, whenever you do any projects, what you want to do is you want to lay everything out. This way, when you lay everything out, when you go back to put it in place, you don't have hardly any mistakes at all. And uh, right here is the grill that the customer purchased, and you'll be able to remove it at any time. <clears throat> and as, as you can see, we're going to uh, come up about, we're going to go even right here with this wing on the grill. And what I did was I'm going to come up another tier, probably one size of a eight inch block and I'm going to have another piece of limestone on top of that and that will accent it really nice and then we picked out a beautiful stone uh, what well, a customer picked out a beautiful stone that's going to match their customer's uh, uh, home here okay on this side of the project here what I did here is um, I like to put my uh, bar areas uh, with a grill what, whatever it may be on one slab uh, but with this particular customer, uh, they preferred a little bit longer. So what I did was I had to split the slabs. And because we're in Northeast Pennsylvania here, you never know how deep the frost will go. And if one shifts up, it will go up through here or there. And the, the grill's going to be here. And nothing, there won't be a crack or anything in there. When I put the stone on, I'm going to have a, a light seam here that you won't even see. And... Um, Let's just say you get a deep freeze and it goes down more than three feet. I said, you might have a problem, like I said, with shifting up or shifting down. I don't foresee it because we have a six inch pad here, but just for safety reasons, this is what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna put a thin film of caulking in there. And then with the stone over it, you won't, you won't even know that, but it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna work out fine. All right, and this is the, uh, the stone that the customer had picked out, as you can see, blends in with their siding on their home. And this is not a culture stone, this is actually real stone. And this is the limestone we're going to put here on the countertop bar going across here. And this is how it's going to be here, like this. All right, we're back here on the job site, and I just want to show uh, what I'm using. I'm using this professional spec mix, uh, and it, as you can see, Portland Lime and Sand. And this is uh, uh, widely uh, used for our contractors. They highly recommend this. You can go online, and check it out for yourself. But I, I like this product. It's a very good product. This is the uh, this is the fun part. This is about the consistency that I like to use. Let's see. Yeah, see that? And you stick it on there. It sticks right on there like glue. Perfect. It's like. And, and you know, it's like, yeah, whatever. That's cool. Just right to the line, right, Jack? Yeah, we follow the string line here, folks, and that's all right. We're back again, and what I'm doing right now is, uh, I'm plastering behind here where you won't see the stone. The grill is going to be hiding this. And also, I'm plastering behind this section here where the refrigerator is going to go. There won't be any stone there. The stone will actually be here on the front face. 
yeah, I'm just sponging it up now to make it look nice. Get a little finish here anyway. I'm trying to get it before it sets up. Uh, it's a 90 degree day here in Northeast Pennsylvania. We don't have too many of them, but uh, we got one today. And it's not only that, it's humid, so uh, I gotta get going here. All right, here I'm just measuring on where exactly I'm going to put this because I don't want to have a. I have a little bit of a gap back there because I want to have a nice overhang here when I put this stone face just like that. So I'm going to push it in just just a tad more. That looks about it. Yeah, and that will work. That's that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to go with right right in that area, Mike. What I did was I just put this screw back, and the reason why is we just set this line stone on here. It's on here loose. It's not mounted, and I just got to see. I'm always making adjustments. Uh, it looks like it's about a half inch there. I would say, yeah, yeah, a half inch will be fine. It will come up, and that's how much more do I use? About half inch there, and that will make this level here. As you see, I did on that side over there. That's this is right on, and the customer is pleased with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we're back here on the job site. We're moving along. We had this large uh, piece, uh, eight, actually an eight-foot piece of limestone, and you can see I rock-faced it. And uh, we uh, have a refrigerator. We just put in a little while ago, and this we put in. Uh, three days ago and as you can see the corners are going to be more or less fit just like that once the stone comes in we're still waiting on the order of the stone and right over here uh, we put this eight foot section up here and I have another six foot piece which will go here and that will cover this area and that and the grill and everything's moving along fine and the customer is very pleased with what we're doing here on the outdoor bar grill area. All right, we're putting the stone in, as you could uh, as you could see. And right now, I'm going to cut a few pieces to uh, fit right here between the uh, grill and the refrigeration. And uh, it's starting to shape up. It's starting to shape up. This is called pre uh, premium natural stone, uh, natural stone ledger panels. And um, as you can see, they're all cut where they interlock. They're stepped up, as they say. This way you could uh, interlock them like so. Here's a sample of the stone that I'm using on this project. And on the back, as you can see, they all come glued together. That's why it's important when you mud them up, you want to mud the whole thing. This way they'll all adhere together when you put it onto the uh, surface that you're uh, using. What I'm going to talk about now is the mixture they use to adhere to stone. Uh, I go out and purchase a veneer stone mortar, such as we have here. And what I do is I do a little, uh, add a little thin set adhesive. Uh, this is mostly used for porcelain and tile. However, when you mix this in here, uh, for instance, let's say I'll use a half a bag of this and I'll use a quarter bag of this, and then I'll mix that together and then that will really adhere to the surface. All right, since I had this mixture with this thin set, it's very, very sticky. You can't even, look at this, it's sucking right to the, <laughs> to the hole. But I guarantee it's not coming off. Okay, right now, I gotta wet this. This block is very, very coarse, and I kind of really soak it in because it absorbs it right in. Uh, the other day I was doing this, well today it's not too bad, it's 85, it was 90, 93 degrees. And I did what I'm doing now, and I put the hose down, 
And I turned around and I started putting some mud on the stone. I went over to put it in. It was, it was already dry. Mm -hmm. But right now it's a little cooler out. So right now I'm going to show you how I do this. First I get a little on my trawl. And I work it in like this. No big deal. <laughs> Just like porridge. I like to put a thin coat on here. Just like that. Then I do the same thing on here. Flip it around. That's all she wrote, and I just work it in here, and as you can see, back and forth, no problem. And just for a little security, I get my, my rubber mallet, and I just tap it a little bit, and we're golden. I added a little more water to the mixture. It was a little bit too dry for my liking, but everybody has their own opinion. You can't go wrong. Always works out. But this is what I got. Alrighty. Uh, let me see. This is this way. Okay, here we go. And when I come up here and put the final piece on, what I do is I get uh, my sponge and I'll get some mortar out of here and I'll just rub it right in here, smooth it off, blend it right in with the inside of the uh, interior where the uh, grill is going to be and it'll blend right in as I did on this side. Okay, what I just said before is after I soaked it, I put two pieces in. It was already getting dry again. So then I get the uh, holes, I put on mist and I just do a real quick light spray like that cover back up. All right, now I'm getting ready to put the third section on. And what I'm going to do is put that little, let me make sure this is, work it right in there like this. No problem, and I can right, right in line. The bubble's right on. We're level. And we're level. Hello, we're back again, and this time we're with the final project. Uh, it took some time to uh, complete this project, but as I was working on it, uh, as I said in the beginning, I started with the uh, block. I laid them out dry. The customer came and looked, and uh, they decided how they wanted it to uh, be. We came out with 14 feet long and 8 feet back, and I took it from there. Once I had it dry, they were satisfied. I went to town on it. Now, uh, another thing was, it was a very warm summer and there was a lot involved in this and I do this as a part-time uh, and I also uh, this design I have here is my first of this design so I'm gonna say this is this is my prototype and I have all the specs on it I have all the material that I use so when I go ahead and do it again it won't take me as long hopefully and uh, that's it in a nutshell as the uh, customers went and purchased some nice uh, stools here uh, I put on the uh, LED lights and uh, they came out quite well. They accent the, uh, the uh, top uh, tier that I put on there. And uh, that's it. This is uh, Jack Brave again signing off on uh, uh, systems and designs masonry. And as I said again, I do a part-time business and uh, hope you enjoy the project.